Hey there, this is Land of the Comedian Medium. I am bringing you your Sagittarius reading fellow Sages. I am a Sag cusp. I cannot, I cannot read for myself, although I can do a general reading and I guess it would apply to me. And so I just kind of go, kind of pay attention, but I can't, God blocks us from reading for ourselves. If you did not know that, that's why that psychics can't win the lotto. So, because they, if they wanted me to win the lotto, they'd give me the numbers, right? But if they don't want me to, yeah. See, and I can't read on my, I can have somebody else read my chart for me, but I can't. Because I'd never experience all the crap I got to go through. I'd keep adver um, averting everything. So, there we go. And if I'm talking funny, I have braces. I have full braces in. Sorry, I got Invisalign with rubber bands and everything, so I have a little lisp now. But it's getting done. So this is our financial reading, guys. Let's see what's up. Ooh, we got some of the same cards as Scorpio. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so you had gotten your wish and it's from the past. You you maybe you got some help. Maybe you got maybe you went back to work. Maybe, you know, um this is financial. Now this can also represent a car if you've had car trouble. But it can be mean going very quickly towards something. And you had done a lot of work. Now there's currently an ending with a choice to be made. And I'm not sure what this is all about, but that's very much an ending. But there's also victory, okay? Um, now, this is a choice that needs to be made. Now, if I were saying this is a love card, I'm like, ooh, somebody's coming back into your picture. But I don't think so. This is a financial reading. So I'm going to be reading it like financial. Now, this is something that you love that you have to make a choice on. Maybe you need to close your business. Maybe you need to open your business. Maybe you need to go into business. Maybe you need a new job. Maybe you need a new career. Maybe you need to go back to school. Anything to do with finances, okay? Um, and you're walking a fine line. Somebody's stealing something or you're stealing something. You're just kind of tiptoeing around them, okay? So they're warning you that even though you've become the emperor, which means you're the leader of all things, the runner of all things, there's going to be some a time or a money crunch a little bit this month. Okay, so be watching it. Now, I know when this card appears for me, and I don't because I can't read for myself, but I can see it appear, that usually I have to transfer money from one bank account to the other because I overdrew one. So <laughs> that's usually what happens to me, okay? Now, there is a transformation going on, it's, and it's, it's pretty extreme. I want to say, and see, the, look at the Page of Cups is a message coming. I want to say someone's going to help you Bring about a different lifestyle. There's a new type of lifestyle or something coming your way. A new way of looking at things. Maybe some side income. Um, now, this is a card of cancer. But it can also be a cup of love being brought to you. Now, it doesn't have to be brought by a person. It can be something that happens that's bringing its love. Like, it's something you absolutely love to do. Like, I think what part of this is urging you to do is to find what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. <laughs> I always tell people that. Find what you love. Look for it because it the days will go by, it won't be it'll be a joy. Okay? I know I run I run a garden a garden farm on a hosta farm on the side. I just like to dig in the dirt. <laughs> it's not work to me. Other everybody else will be like, "Ew, yeah, but I love to dig in the dirt." I um I'm a gardener, I have a green thumb, and I know that digging in the dirt releases serotonin. They've done studies. So, now somebody is gonna be helping you, or you're gonna be helping somebody. You're getting some help through this. Um, I still say that the government's gonna give us another check or stimulus, and I know, I'm, I don't know about, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say that, maybe because I know something's coming for me, I'm not quite sure, I, I, I just, I can feel that. Remember, I can't read for myself, but I can feel stuff. So um, I think that there's going to be help coming. So you're going to be, they're, they're warning you to just watch your money and your resources. Just be careful if you're juggling them, okay? Um, 
This could be a child that may need your help also, that maybe you're gonna have to help them out and something that may have already happened before it happens again also. <laughs> you know, and see, like you might be helping somebody, see? So for some people, that might be exactly what happens. So, but you, it's not, when, when I see this card, it doesn't mean that you don't have enough money. It just means you're just juggling it all. So it could be time, it could be resources, it could be money. You're just juggling something. You're like, could be extremely busy, busy even. So, so let's go up to the other deck here. Yep, material harvest, solitude, prosperity, rejoice. It's interesting that some of these are the same ones that I'm getting for Scorpio, because I just did Scorpio reading. Um, you know, you went, you're going at a pretty quick clip. So you must have been making some really good progress financially and career-wise. Because and you had had a firm foundation. You know, and it's not that it's been ripped out from us. It's just been slowed down. I want to let you know that we will recover from this. It is going to take some time, but we are, things are going to be done differently in a better way. Okay? Um, and I don't feel like there's going to be a lockdown again. I feel like there's going to be a, a second wave, Yes. Um, I think that there, are, I still say that there's medicines coming out here in June. They just found off, out that the MMR vaccine that you get when you're a baby, they're starting to give to older people as a booster and they're finding that it's helping lessen COVID. And you can look that up. I just read that uh, today. So, and I predicted something in June would come out and be fairly simple that would really, really help slow or even cure, or keep you from getting really sick, like really, really sick. I mean, not that you probably won't get like sick from it, but it keeps you from ending up in the hospital. So, and that, you can look at that on my Facebook. Um, this is your material harvest. You're, you're harvesting stuff. I mean, and they're urging you to take a little time for yourself. Take a little time, read a book, relax yet, yeah, because you're going to be very busy. And this could be the card of busyness. Okay, so I just thought I'd tell you that. Now, rejoice in celebration. There should be a celebration, a get-together, family thing, something coming up in July. So maybe 4th of July. I, I'm not sure, but you're going to be very happy, and it's going to feel really good. And um, prosperity begins, guys. Prosperity. Um, maybe you have look, just looking at money differently. Maybe, you know, people always say, well, I, I manifested it. No, no, no. You have to understand manifestation. Manifestation isn't that just magically appears. It's you mentally putting the pieces in, like your ducks in a row, so that you can manifest. I don't, see, I don't believe in just things out of the clear blue. I believe that we've created them by doing the right things subconsciously. So with that said, I want to say, yes, you're helping somebody. Somebody's helping you this month. And they're warning you to just be careful that money, don't, don't go out and spend too much, is basically what I would say when I look at this. And me as a Sagittarius, I believe that could be possibly true. <laughs> so I got, yeah, I want to go on vacation, and I'm taking a trip with a trailer, and I'm seeing nobody else. So that way I stay clear of COVID. So I hope you guys have a great summer so far. I'll be coming back to you really soon with my cusp readings. That's what I normally do. And blessings to all of you and hope to hear from you guys soon. Send me a message. Send me a line so I can pick you guys out for free readings because that's how I do it. Blessings.